In this video I'm going to show the comparative performance differences between using a GPU and CPU on a MacBook Pro and what I'm going to do to actually demonstrate those performance differences is I'm going to um, run Olama within NA10 and on Olama I'm going to use the 5.4 small language model from Microsoft. So the reason why I'm using 5.4 is it's it's a 9 billion parameter model and that's quite testing especially for a CPU and you can see up here I've got a GPU activity monitor I'm just going to also open up a CPU usage so we've got some some nice fancy graphics to show their various performance of the system okay so first off I've got 5.4 latest running this is within the uh, Olama on the docker container for NA10 so it's using the let's go right the way back I'm using the AI starter kit from NA10 and um, in here I'm just going to do a very quick hello message so the chat trigger okay well, that's interesting <laughs> well <laughs> that uh, slightly unexpectedly um, when I tried to run it locally I get got an error message saying that it was out of system memory so it needed 11.2 gig and more than was available however when I attempted to run it on the GPU I didn't get that error message I actually got a response okay so I think I've realized what's going on the the local container the container was limited by the amount of memory I had available to it so I've just upped that to 11 and a half gigabytes which hopefully if this is still running it maybe has restarted okay so let's give this test a go again <laughs> I think we're, we're, we're winning now. <clears throat> so on the local Alarma service, this is the um, the base reference. So running from the CPU, I'm going to give it a um, a relatively ch challenging command, and um, it's going to take a little while to produce. So I'm going to say, please write 500 words about music. I'm going to copy that because I'm going to want to use that command again. So now 500 words is going to take a little while for the language model to produce and what we should be able to see is there's a marked difference. You can see the CPU spike in here and it's going running through everything on it's going to max out and the 11 cores because it's got access to all of them and so I think what I'm going to see is uh, it's going to take considerably longer for the 5.4 on the CPU to execute than it's going to on the GPU. When I've tested on other language models in the past it's taken like twice as long but I've, this is the first time I've uh, downloaded 5.4 into the Docker container of NA10. I've only used that in the um, locally on their laptop. So it's a bit of an experiment. Okay. So let's make a note of this. So 
this is um, CPU. Okay, so what's that? 168 seconds, is that right? What we're going to do is we're going to go back into the settings for the language model and then to go from the local service, which is the one within the Docker container, I'm going to go to the Alarma account. So that's. Um, oh, that's what I was going to do. And that's the one that's actually pointed to the Alarma on my directly on my computer. This can address the GPU. So I'm going to take the this command again. This prompt. The performance stays static, or relatively static. Okay, so let's pull this over. So we've got CPU performance up here. Yeah, so um, just as a very brief experiment here, using the same model, the using it on the CPU versus the GPU, just demonstrated that the GPU, especially on my MacBook Pro M3 with 18 gig of RAM, the GPU far exceeds the performance of the CPU. I would advise if you're doing this, go and have a look at my video on how to set up Olama and NA10 for the GPU usage. Um, that video is just over here.